angels welcome back to another video so sorry about the noise in the background i have my heat on it's really cold so i have to have it on sorry hopefully you guys can still hear me but today we're gonna be making a car tray i got this mold from amazon i'll leave the link down in the description box down below even though the mold ripped in the end i'm pretty sure there's like several similar molds to it so maybe i just got a little bad batch but I already mixed up my resin off camera and I poured it into the mold. Now I'm just using my lighter to get rid of all of the bubbles. Boom, boom. And my flowers, they're dry pressed flowers I got from Amazon as well. Hopefully I can find the exact same ones, but they're from Amazon. Now I'm just putting down there all of my flowers. Yep. Flowers, flowers, flowers. We got some pink, some purple, some red, some green, some white, and I'm gonna start adding on there some blue because the foil sheets that I wanna be using, you guys wanna see it in a second, is blue. So I wanted to add some blue in there as well. So I add some dark blue and some light blue flowers. Dun 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 dun. Oh, I thought it was raining. It's just the wind blowing. This mold is really big, so I didn't know that not all of it was in the camera. I'm just adding some flowers onto the edges. Now it's time for some green ones. Making sure I fill up all of the space with some flowers so that there's no space. No space. I'm going to put as much flowers as I possibly can. And it's looking good already. So now it's time for the vinyl sheet. The vinyl sheet I got from Etsy's. And look at how gorgeous she is. But her afro... Her fairy wings, the heels, the bags, everything just looked amazing. She is like a light blue holographic, so she's really cute. Now I'm pushing down the foil sheets on top of the resin so that all the bubble underneath it can just seep out. And as the bubbles are coming out, I'm just using my lighter to just get rid of it real quickly. And I'm going to add some more flowers around her. Some blue, some pink. All of that good stuff. And some green. And that's it. I'm going to let this sit overnight. 24 hours for it to be fully cured. Also, I didn't show this step, but I add some blue glitter on there. The glitter I got from Etsy's. I think it was a free gift. Oh, I buy it. I don't know. Probably was a free gift. But I add some blue glitter on there. Because I thought that it would just bring everything together. And it absolutely did. So that was a pretty cool decision. That white paper, paper I'm going to take it off. Yeah. And I'm just going over it one last time with my lighter. So this is the glitter that I told you guys to add, up, add on there. So in my pouring tray, I mix up some white and some blue. And I'm just going to pour it on top. And this is going to be the second layer of resin. So I didn't mix enough. So I didn't mix enough. So I'm mixing up some more. I'm going to pour it on there to fill it all the way up. I have my white. And then a little bit of my light blue. This mold took way more resin than I thought. I don't know <laughs> why I didn't mix up enough. But this definitely was not enough resin. So I did mix up some more. So I mixed up some um, darker blue. And some light blue. But I had some resin left over. Some clear resin. So I just poured it on top of all of that. And it still wasn't enough. 
So I'm going to let this layer dry for 24 hours. And I'm going to mix up some resin, some more resin later on. And with my lighter, I'm just going to be popping some of the bubbles. There really wasn't a lot of bubbles, so that was good. But just in case there was any that was going to appear, get rid of them before they happen. I went over it a few times with my lighter, just to be safe. So... I mix up some dark blue, like what I said. You ready? So I'm pouring that down, and then my lighter blue, and then I'm just gonna pour on down there um, some clear resin, and that's it. So this is the third layer of resin, and I'm gonna let this one dry for another 24 hours, and I'm gonna go over it again with my lighter, just in case if there's any bubbles, to pop it and get rid of it. I was mixing up all of the colors together, giving it a little swirly effect. <laughs> but as soon as it's dry, it's completely disappeared. So, okay so this is how it turned out it turned out amazing there's a few little tiny bubbles you can see it in her afro but other than that she looks amazing and it's shining it just looks so good by the way this is so heavy like really really heavy so other than that i love it and it's working perfectly Right, this is so cute i love all of the colors i love the foil sheet like everything just came together wonderfully 10 out of 10 except that the mold ripped so and it also it ripped around the edges as well i didn't notice it until i was cleaning up this one if i want to make another one i just have to order a different mold but i don't think i will because this turned out pretty cool well that's it thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to like comment and subscribe look at how it looks in the sun
so cute this is my favorite project this is honestly on top of the list well thank you guys so much for watching this video make sure to like comment and subscribe and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next one make sure to give this video a big 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 thumbs up